All right, boys and girls, happy Monday. It's Monday, April 20th, 2020. We're doing Lesson 20 all week long. We're doing the Anthology Textbook. That's just our hardback book, okay? Anthology means a collection of stories. Textbook is also usually a whole bunch of stories in one book. And in Room 10, we just call it our hardback book. The story we're reading is Little Rabbit's Tale. It doesn't mean his tail like on his bottom. It means tail like story tale, okay? A fairy tale, folk tale, a story. Little Rabbit's Tale. All right, let's get ready to read. All right, Little Rabbit's Tail, written by Wong Herbert Yee and illustrated by Richard Burnell. Oh, better get my bell. Little Rabbit sleeps under an old apple tree. Just then, the wind starts to blow. The branches shift in the wind. Thump! Something hits Little Rabbit. Oh no! The sky is falling, yells Little Rabbit. I've got to try to tell everyone. Little Rabbit hops off to find Goose. Goose sits in his rowboat. The tip of his rod starts to twitch. There's no time to fish, yells Little Rabbit. The sky is falling. Let's go, Little Rabbit. We need to go tell Beaver. Goose and Little Rabbit use the rowboat. They go up the stream. Goose peeks inside. Beaver is eating a snack. There's no time to eat, says Goose. Let's go. The sky is falling. Oh my, says Beaver, we need to go tell Turtle. Beaver, Goose, and Little Rabbit dash up the hill. Did you hear commas in a series? Beaver, Goose, and Little Rabbit dash up the hill. I wonder what they're going to find up the hill. Turtle sleeps under a log. Tap, tap. Beaver taps on Turtle's shell. Turtle peeks out. Hmm? There's no time to sleep, says Beaver. Let's go. The sky is falling. Oh no, yells Turtle. What can we do? Let's run back home, says Little Rabbit. I want to tell my mother. Turtle, Beaver, Goose, and Little Rabbit run fast. Turtle, Beaver, Goose and Little Rabbit run fast. They hop over the log, dash down the hill, and jump into Goose's rowboat. Then they go as fast as they can down the stream. Remember earlier they were going up the stream, now they're going down the stream. Little Rabbit hops in the door. Mother, the sky is falling. Who told you such a thing? Asks Mother Rabbit. Beaver told me, says Turtle. Goose told me, says Beaver. Little Rabbit told me, says Goose. Well, let's just go outside and look at the sky, says Mother Rabbit. She's a smart mom. Oh, didn't ring my bell. Just then the wind starts to blow. The branches shift in the wind. Thump! Something hits Little Rabbit. Oh no! The sky is falling, yells Little Rabbit. The sky is not falling, laughs Mother Rabbit. An apple just fell from the apple tree. I didn't get to catch a fish, says Goose. I didn't get to eat my snack, says Beaver. I didn't get to sleep, says Turtle. I've got a plan, says Little Rabbit. Can my friends eat with us? Yes, says Mother Rabbit. Go wash your hands while I get more plates. Hooray! See, even they wash their hands. Ooh, a feast. A feast is a big meal, like um, Thanksgiving. 
Little Rabbit has a nice meal with his friends. After that, they all have homemade apple treats. The friends lived happily ever after. All right, we have cause and effect. In Little Rabbit's tail, Little Rabbit gets hit on the head. This is the cause that makes something else happen. What happens next because he got hit? This is the effect. As you read, think about what happens and why. You can use a chart to show other causes and effects. The cause is an apple fell on his head. The effect, it made him think the sky is falling, okay? Ow, that hurt. What hurt me? See, the effect was I got hurt. The cause is I banged my forehead with the bell, okay? Cause and effect, okay? All right, story lesson. Little Rabbit's tale is a folk tale. Have you ever heard a story that sounds like this one? People told a story like this for many years before it was written down. They would just tell it word of mouth. They would just tell the story. They didn't write it down. They just told. Remember, like, Grandma told um, her daughter, and her daughter told her daughter, and they kept passing it down to their children. Folk tales often have an important message. The message of the story is a lesson about life. What can you learn from Little Rabbit's Tale? And my kitty cat's making some noise. Okay. Class some conversation. Here's some questions. Why do you think Little Rabbit acts the way he does when an apple falls on him? What happens over and over in this story? And why are the friends happy at the end? Okay. Alrighty. And go and listen to this again. You can listen on here, but you can find this. Remember, you can find this on Think Central on your things to do list. Okay. Alrighty. Bye-bye.